It took jurors about 14 hours to convict a comedian in the sexual assault retrial. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. We have Team 3 coverage of today's verdict and the reaction to it. And we get started with Joe Holden, who's been inside the courtroom since the beginning of the trial. He was there for the dramatic moment today when Cosby was convicted. Joe. Jessica and Yuki, that was four and a half hours ago when that bombshell development rippled through courtroom A at the Montgomery County Courthouse. The jurors, 12 in number, signaling that they had found Bill Cosby guilty across the board of aggravated indecent assault. Prosecutors would say not his fame or his money could change the account that one woman who went to Temple from Toronto, Canada, provided to police many years ago. I could not have been more proud of, of what they did um, throughout this whole thing. District Attorney Kevin uh, Steele, his voice and, quaking uh, as he praised the assistant district see. attorneys at his side. Both so Kristen much. Fedden and Stu Ryan made closing arguments in the case, likely sealing Bill Cosby's fate in the minds of the jury. The entertainer who rose to fame in the late 60s was found guilty on all three counts of aggravated indecent assault. Steele and his team of public servants dismantled a defense put on by Cosby's high wattage bank of attorneys. Tom Mesereau afterwards told reporters that their fight is not over. Are you putting up here, sir? Yes. Yes. Yes, very strongly. Andrea Constand is now the woman who brought down Bill Cosby. Her reports from 2005 to police were initially rejected by a former district attorney. But prosecutors commended her for continuing on in the face of harsh criticism and victim shaming. She has been a major factor um, in um, a movement that has gone in the right direction, um, finally. And the secondary development of this entire story were the words exchanged between Bill Cosby and, and District Attorney Kevin Steele. Steele wanted Cosby locked up immediately. The judge angrily probed the DA why he has made all of these court appearances over the last two years. Steele, in summarizing the events of the day, Cosby is no longer presumed innocent. He has now been convicted in a court of law. However, he will remain free pending sentencing. That's the story. Live here at the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.